I was listening to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel on YouTube. So it is like an audio book on YouTube. And I think I was around the part where God was telling the prophet Ezekiel to tell the people what is going to happen to them if they continue on doing wrong. Okay. And it kind of makes me think about how some people in the world are now. Like, I think many people know to do right, but choose to do, I guess, mostly what they want, even if they know doing wrong is bad. Do God really have to allow so much bad to happen to you for you to get serious with him? Does he have to allow many people to die to get your attention? Does he have to take away almost everything you have for you to concentrate on him. Does he have to do that? I think some people take God's grace for granted. Things may be going well for you now. You may have a job. You may have a car. You may be married and stuff like that. And you may think to yourself, Yes, there is a God, but I can do what I want. But on the other hand, won't you blame God if really bad things happen to you? How? What word can I use? How? And I don't want to say a mean word or a bad word, but how? bad is that? To do what you want and blame God for allowing bad things to happen, but why did the bad things happen in the first place if you were being disobedient? Please listen. Kevin, I know this is wrong, but... There is no benefit in living for God. Would you say that if God would allow you to go to hell for 10 minutes? Would you say there is no benefit in living for God if he allowed you to go to hell for 10 minutes? I think you would be very motivated to do what is right. I think some people take God's grace for granted. You think you can go against God's rules and be happy. I think you expect for you to live your life any way you want to and for God to be supportive of it. How, what word can I use? How, it doesn't make any sense. Yes, I believe God will reign on the just as well as the unjust. So I believe God will bless sinners as well. But in the end, how can you expect things to go well for you if you knowingly turn your back against God? Then be all confused or sad that so many bad things happened to you. Listen now. Please listen. Would you rather have God allow you 
to do whatever you want and for him to bless you, then you die and go to hell or would you want God to punish you in the effort, I guess I can say, to get you to change so you don't have to go to hell after you die? Man, I believe some people take God's grace for granted. Things may be going well for you, but I think it doesn't mean it is always going to go that way. If you continue to do what is wrong, I believe payment will be due. So let me stop here. Okay. <laughs>